I'm here tonight with the papster, Fox News Channel anchor, Patty Ann Brown. If cuteness were cabbage, she would give me gas. Bill Schultz, his sister, is also his stepmom. Joining us from our L.A. bureau is Patty Ann. Do you think Bin Laden is trying to turn himself into a legitimate world leader, and our press helps that by taking him so seriously? Well, unfortunately, I do think he's trying to turn himself into a world leader, and he's trying to recruit everybody on this tape. He's urging everybody to convert to Islam. And my concern is really for the um, the virgin inventory, because with 70 virgins for each martyr, yeah. we're going to run out of them. Yeah, if we all convert, <laughs> we, we already have. none of us are going to get laid. Camille, would you... Patty Ann, do you think Al-Qaeda is here right now in our country? Well, I think maybe right here. I mean, Mike Baker. Yes. He could be a double agent. Yes. How do we know? All that time you spent as a spy. And he's not even wearing a stubble today. <laughs> yeah, you're you're well, that. yeah. I, you know, I, 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 me and Bin Laden were much the same way. I got... <laughs> Patty, does this point out how easy it is to get near a world leader? Just pretend you belong there. It's absolutely unbelievable. I mean, Michael Keaton had this movie many years ago, The Paper, where he said you can get anywhere with a clipboard and the right attitude. I mean, mm -hmm. and they just proved it. What I thought was funny, though, is that they put Canadian flags on the motorcade. They said, you know, because no one really looks that closely at Canada. You know, yeah, it's kind of that's like a true. slam to Canada. You know, I, I, you I said clipboard did no boo, and it didn't work. You know, it had a lot of attitude. <laughs> Try this in a woman's restroom, walking with a clipboard. Doctor is currently in rehab, and his friends say the kid is going through really bad withdrawal symptoms. Patty Ann. Doherty has a court appearance on October 2nd for possession of crack, heroin, ketamine, and cannabis. That's a lot. Where, where is he? How do you think this picture is going to play with the judge? If you're getting your cat high, that can't help. Well, I think actually it, it could help because, it, you know, he's charged with possession and he could just say, well, yeah, I, it was on my person, but it's, it's not mine. I swear, it's, it's the cat. The cat. He it planted the cat. it. Holding yeah. it for the cat. Yeah. Yes. Bill can a president also be pungent? That's the burning question for Barack Obama supporters. His wife, Michelle, revealed in a Glamour magazine interview that their children rarely jump into bed with the Illinois senator because he is, quote, so snorry and stinky in the morning. Could this kill the Barack campaign? <laughs> Patty Ann, does this help or hurt Obama knowing that he smells? Well, I just want to know which of the other seven dwarfs are in bed with him. He had stinky, you know, obviously not horny, and I think that might be a problem. You know? so, <laughs> uh, I, I don't think it hurts him. Yeah. I mean, she says she's trying to humanize him. I think she's just trying to make sure he's not attractive to other women. Yes, very true. Patty Ann, will this affect Barack's standing with African-American use that one of the top rappers is sh putting his, his power behind a white woman? I, I, just, I certainly hope that young blacks are not looking up to him to decide who they're going to vote for. I mean, he calls himself Fitty. His son is 25 cents, which I find a little corny. You know? He's the guy has been shot nine times. I, I mean, you know, and my favorite quote from him has to be where he says, you know, when I go to war, I actually go to war. President Bush just sends people to war. And he's never been to war. Yeah. <laughs> well, by war, what? he meant being in his limo while reading his rhyming dictionary. It's, and going, it's an industry yeah. term, yeah. I think he's in gang war. Uh, Obama. Oh, interesting segue from Patty Ann's intelligent comment that Michelle Obama is just trying to make other women not find Barack attractive to Ian's joke about stinky men and the next all over. <laughs> uh, nice. Yeah, Greg, did you... Now, let's reintroduce our other wonderful guest, shall we? The papster, Patty Ann Brown, Fox News Channel anchor. She's cuter than a smurf riding a seahorse over a rainbow. Oh. A rainbow made of blood. <laughs> Ian Bag, he's a... <laughs> Patty Cakes, isn't it true that most schoolyard bullies grow up to be fat? Fat, bald, used car salesman, even if they live that long. Well, if they even live that long. Some become late night talk show hosts. Yeah. Uh, Technically, no. he's early morning. <laughs> Depends on the time zone. Yeah. I never bullied anybody. I was bullied, and often, Mom. Bill, <laughs> Bill, these adults only theaters serve alcohol, which sounds great in theory, but is this really a good idea? I'm asking you because you're an alcoholic. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I also have a weak bladder, so it's a very bad idea. And also, they do this in Australia. I used to live there, and they sell beer there all the time. A lot to children. And uh, those theaters, as a result, make uh, theaters in Queens seem quiet and demure. Everyone's yelling, lots of spit. It's horrible. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. horrible. Are those, th those theaters in Queens with the individual viewing booths? Is that? <laughs> <laughs> they only cost me a quarter. I Queens. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the theaters being that bad. No, we've never been to Woodside then. I could not hear any oh, of I'm the sure, Care Bear I'm movie. sure our national audience <laughs> would love to hear more about a theater in Queens, Bill. But you're... <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
Uh, By the way, you were wrong about Patty Ann Brown. She did say he was shot nine times. I didn't say she didn't. Yes, she did. No, I didn't. No, yes, she did. No, he didn't. He, he didn't say that. I didn't say. He just said, by the way, 50 Cent was shot nine times. Yes. That's what she said. Right. Okay. There you go. But I didn't say she didn't. I consider you yourself. I'm the one doing the grilling here, damn it. <laughs> Grill away. Bill, this is the. Patty Ann, this was your first time on Red Eye. Who creeped you out more, Greg, Bill, or Mike Baker? I would have to say Mike Baker. Yes. Uh, <laughs> because he's not here right now. Uh, oh, I am, Patty, and I am. Yeah. 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 You know, the whole double agent thing. You never yes. know what, you know, what's really going on there. Right. Speaking of uh, 50 Cent was shot, is it Fitty now? It's, it's Fitty. It's Fitty. He was yeah. shot nine times. <laughs> Patty Ann didn't say he wasn't. Uh, See you later, Patty Ann Brown, Bill Schultz, Anastasia Griffin.